Yo, welcome back. It is Daniel again, and in this particular video, I'll be showing us how to arrange WooCommerce order number and invoice number. So somebody might be wondering why do I need this video? You need this video because if you are an e-commerce store owner, you might have come across this problem of um order numbers not sequentially arranged and for somebody like that might have been looking for a solution to such problem and this is one solution to such problem whereby you have your order numbers not sequentially arranged or not beginning from um, the very first number which is either zero or one or two or three so also for invoice number as well you might be um, encountering such problem whereby you are unable to have um, a sequentially arranged invoice number so in this video now i'll be introducing us to two plugins where we'll be using one to rearrange our order number and the other one we're going to use it to rearrange our invoice number so i'll be jumping right into my screen now and walking us through this process so guys this is my wordpress dashboard my website backend so let's see the first thing here says a team if you first install a team that comes with WooCommerce plugin so and I want to believe whosoever is watching this video already is already familiar with WooCommerce or the person has um what's it called an e-commerce store so WooCommerce should not be something new and in a case whereby you are intending to um to have an e-commerce store online store and you are looking for how to go about it or you want to you are planning to install woocommerce plugin i would recommend you install astra team first then you search for a template um, whereby you can install an e-commerce template on your website so i'll prefer you or i will recommend you go for astra team so with astra team then you look for what's it called you look for um an e-commerce template so once you install the template you you install the um the team first astra team then you install um a starter template starter template you should be able to get an e-commerce store template there so i can quickly um walk us through that process very quickly on how to install astra and starter templates and how to select an e-commerce template so let's let's quickly do that now guys so you want to go to appearance go to appearance go to teams then you search for starter templates S search for astra rather from here search for astra this is astra in my own case i already have it installed so in your own case you have to um install and activate it so once you are done in order for us to be able to work with this astra we have to install a plugin called starter templates so as we install, install this astra it might um prompt some questions so just follow prompts it might ask you to create your own page the way your own page looks like it's something you will come back to do you can't do it immediately the only thing you have to do is add logos and maybe some other site information so if you need a walkthrough video on how to set up your own page i think i have a video on that you can reach out to me reach out to me so once you are done installing the team then you have to install a plugin called starter templates this is it go to plugins go to hard new then from search bar you search for starter templates starter templates it should come up it should come up this is it this particular one so you install and activate it so once you are done activating it then you should come back to appearance here appearance then scroll down to starter templates click on it so guys the templates are loaded up now so these are templates so many templates we have premium we have free templates so and you want to search for e-commerce templates you can search from this bar as you can see online online shop and all these ones are um store templates e-commerce store templates and i'm very sure if you install any 
template from this category it will definitely come with woocommerce plugin and some other um, e-commerce plugin so and you can also search here you can type e-commerce and search for um, whichever templates you want so once you search for e-commerce it will bring out every um, team templates you can use for your e-commerce store so that is that guys I'll be going back to my dashboard now so let's go to what the next step is so the tools we need here is to rearrange our WooCommerce order number is called sequential order number for WooCommerce by web to fail particularly web to fail so you go to plugins this way scroll down to plugins click on add new click on add new then you come here search for I already have it here sequential order number in my own case I have it it's already installed sequential order number this is it here make sure you are installing this particular one this one and it should be by web to fee web to fee so install and activate install and activate so once you are done with that you go to come to your WooCommerce here go to settings before you installed your um, the sequential order number this tab would not be there if you notice this tab would not be there but now that we've installed it we have the tab so we are working with this tab click on sequential order number this way now guys the the page is loaded up the tab so the next thing you want to do is the order number formats then leave it in number so just follow my settings like this order number order number length leave it as six the essence of this is just to add zeros to the number as you can see the zeros we have here this is it so the start number will be from one in your own case it might be from nine it might be from 23 so then it says apply for all orders so whatever number you set here it's going to enable um the invoice number for every other um invoice you have already in your woocommerce um woocommerce store you understand so if you already have like um 16 um what was it called 16 orders now 16 orders so it's going to apply this number to your orders it's going to apply to previous order up to a moment so that means your next order would start from 17 but if you if you leave this place unchecked it will start from one i hope you guys get that the order number will start from one but if you want it to apply um the sequential number to the order um orders that you've had you click on it then it will apply numbers to the um to the um initial orders the orders you have down already but if you leave it unchecked then it's going to start from one so you scroll down just follow the setting on my screen don't touch anything so once you are done click on save changes and that will be all you've been able to um rearrange your woocommerce order number so you are not going to take note of it until you try to place another yourself from your e-commerce store and see if it's if it has taken effect so we are done with the first um, plugin now the second plugin is for the rearrangement of your invoice if you want your invoice to be rearranged and if you want the numbers to come sequentially so what you do next is you install this WooCommerce PDF invoices so I'll be taking us through that process now go to plugins first plugins add like this add new then you want to search for WooCommerce PDF invoices I think I have it in my own case let me see hmm. this is it here make sure it's the right one you are installing by web to fee this is it WooCommerce PDF invoices by web to fee make sure you follow every of my steps and if at any point you are missing something pause the video go back watch it and make sure you are you are on track so install and activate install and activate 
so as easy as that so once you are done installing and activating as you can see i already have it installed and activated on my own website and for my own WooCommerce. so now once you have um, installed it and you've activated it now the next thing you want to do is you come to you are going to immediately notice this tab here invoice and packing so you click on general settings what you want to do now guys is click on general so once it opens up you make sure you fill these fields the name name of your store the logo of your store you can upload it leave the um, remaining things then come to address so this is how um, these are the details that will be presented on your on your um, invoice your e-commerce name your e-commerce store name that's your business name the address will be displayed the um, city and every other information contact number then you scroll down if you, if you want to um, enable the state name you can enable it but in my own case I have it unchecked so once you are done with these settings you click on update settings now you want to go back to documents click on documents now we are working with invoice just the invoice alone click on settings so guys once it has loaded up like this make sure you enable the invoice check it you toggle it on now here is saying create an email invoice create invoice automatically for completed orders you can decide to change it to processed orders or anything but it has to be completed so once the order has been fulfilled and the goods have been delivered you can it will automatically generate um, the invoice and send it to the um, buyer to the visitors that's to the customer so that's it now you scroll down attach invoice PDF in order email yes it will be sent to the customer now scroll down scroll down here invoice details invoice dates other dates or invoice created dates leave it in this um, invoice created dates now other metal fields you don't need um, to tamper with that logo for invoice you upload it the custom logo you want for your invoice now advanced option generate invoice for older orders like it did in the last plugin that we installed so if you check it to generate invoice for older numbers or um, older orders then it's going to assign um, numbers to the older invoices you have in your WooCommerce but if you if you uncheck it if you leave it unchecked like this then it's going to start from the very first number which is one so you, it depends on how you want it now generate invoice for free orders leave it checked display free line and item in the invoice yes you have to check it now PDF name format as you can see prefix invoice number select it make sure it's prefix invoice number now custom PDF name prefix it has to be like this so this is how the um, invoice would appear in your customers email invoice then underscore the number you understand so it's going to be underscore the number it could be 0000 18 .00007. so that's how it is once you are done with that make sure you update first update then come up here go to customize you click on customize so on this tab you should be able to select the look of your invoice how you want it to look so you create on you click on create new template this way you can select whichever one you want layout one layout two layout three i think i'm using the third layout so you select the layout how you want it then you scroll down come to this side make sure you have this footer unchecked you have to toggle it off now you scroll up you save whichever template you choose you can save it and name it so once you are done like that you save it click on save this way make sure you always save whatever it is you are doing now you proceed to invoice number so on this invoice number tab what you want to do is set invoice number using the custom number series i hope you understand that now invoice starts number so if you want the invoice to start from one leave it but if you want it to start from a specific number that you want then reset it and input 
day specific number day for example you impute 32 then it's going to start from 32 33 34 but we leave it at if you leave it at um, default like this it's going to start from one now scroll down invoice number formats you select for number like this invoice length then um it should be six or you can have it to be one the only thing this means is the um digits of the invoice as you can see it's a zero 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 thirty five you can change it to two you can change it to three so once you are done like that click on save on save and so far we are done rearranging our woocommerce order number and um the invoice number so how do you confirm if this is um working let me show you an example in my own woocommerce store let me just show you an example orders as you can see guys at the invoice number it's tallies as you can see it's tallies so i when i wanted to start using it i make sure i set everything to start from um from um the very first number which is one so that is that about it for you to be sure that what we did is effective try to go to your e-commerce store and place an order yourself place an order yourself and make sure the order number is um, well arranged and check the complete one of the orders that you um, eventually created yourself you can check it as completed how do you do that once you place an order you see processing here you come to orders you click on it you come back to your woocommerce store first you go to your e-commerce store you place an order like a customer then you come back to your wordpress dashboard check on um click on woocommerce orders then you should see processing then what you have to do is just click on that particular one showing processing like this then you click on this place then go to change status to complete it then apply so the next thing you see is the invoice will be generated automatically and it has to tally with this but in a case whereby it's not tallied then you can go back to reset it or assign a specific number that would make it tally with the order number so that is that guys i've been able to walk us through the process of rearranging your woocommerce order number and the invoice number so guys with that we have come to the end of this video thanks guys and do have a great time i remain on daniel